Hi, everybody. Welcome to the press conference headed game tomorrow. Obviously, I don't need to introduce the man next to me, but if you put your hand up and the microphone will come to you, and then we'll get the question started. Hello, Slatan. We're hearing that Manchester United would like you to extend your contract for another year. Can you tell us, firstly, what conversations you've had with the club and how happy you are with that? Uh, for the moment, there's no... We haven't had any discussions. I mean, I have a contract that it says one plus one. Uh, so, I mean, I feel, I feel good. I feel, I feel fresh. I feel in shape and physically, I mean, if I feel like now, probably it will be a second year. So I want to be realistic with myself. And if I'm here, I want to be able to perform like I can do and, uh, and not to waste time. But like it is now, probably yes. But any discussions we haven't had. Thank Slatan, you. can we just confirm then, because your manager said a moment ago that they would be executing the second year, that that's not been confirmed from your end. Uh, the second year goes automatic after a while, so that is no word for me or no word from them. It goes automatic after certain things, so if it continues like this, yes. Okay. Zlatan, uh, Nederlands Televisie, we don't see you shining as we used to see you shining at your former clubs. What's the reason? And when will you shine here? I shine 24 hours, so depends how you want me to shine. I mean, I've been in the game for 20 years and uh, uh, I'm getting older, yes, but the older I get, the better I get, I feel. So, but I'm shining in one way or in another way. So, but if you want me to shine even more, I, I will try to do it for you. Thank you. Okay, no. uh, you, had a, you had a great start, Slatan, and the goals have dried up. Is that getting used to the Premier League? Have defences got used to you? I think, uh, I mean, I had a couple of games I didn't score. I felt I was unlucky. Some moments not, not focusing like normally I should do, but I'm not worried about the goals. I mean, I have more than 450 goals in my career, so as long as I'm creating the chances, as long as I'm there for the, for the situation that comes up for the goal, then I'm not worried. I, I will be worried if I don't create the chances and not getting the chances. So, but the goals come automatic. So for me, most important is to play my game, play good. That's how I feel live and that's how I shine. So you don't shine because you, you don't score goals. So that's the way I play and that's the way my game is. So I don't see myself only as scoring goals every game and playing bad. I prefer to play good, make the team win, and if I score a goal, it's a bonus. But yes, it's part of my job to score goals also, and I like to score goals, so... But playing good is more important for me. So, okay, Fraser. Slatan, the manager said the other day that he thinks you're an unlucky side. Do you agree with that? You think that's I true? think we, we have done great games. I mean, we have a couple of games we have been dominating totally and we don't get the result we deserve and uh, and if you call that unluck yes we have been unlucky in last game same thing i mean controlling the game and in the last minute you get a cross goal but i feel that also that is premier league i feel the teams they don't control the games and uh, it's like up and back in front back in front and the teams they, they fight until the last minute, and um, and that's the way the game is. So, but we have to do more. We will do more, and we have to get the the winning streak. So, can we get that? Then you feel more comfortable in in, in the situation. Okay, Simon. Zlatan, you, you've played at massive clubs in a lot of countries. How would you say the Premier League compares to the other big leagues in Europe, and also? How does Manchester United, being at Manchester United, compare to Barcelona, Milan, PSG? Uh, I think Premier League is very exciting. I mean, the game is the game is tough. It's very physically, and uh, once I'm trying to play aggressive physically, I get yellow cards. But it's okay. Then I have to go back like I play in the other leagues. I have to be more 
alert for my duels. And uh, like I just said, the game is back in front. I don't think any team controls the game in a way. The the football, when you see other top teams, they, they control most of the game and then they win by the, by the way they're controlling it here. Anything can happen. I mean, you can win a game, win a game by 2-0 or lead a game and then at the end crazy things can happen and it goes 2-2 or even you can lose 3-2. And uh, if I compare the club, I think I find the club in the level of all the top clubs I've been in, Juventus, Inter, Barcelona, uh, which more I have? I have Milan, Ajax was a middle step, so, but for me also a big club. PSG was a project that started a couple of years ago, but the club exist, existed before that and they had a great history before that. So I think the team in Man United hasn't been won, won any big trophies the last four or five years. So we are working hard for it. I think the right people are in the right positions now to, to bring it where it belongs. And for me, United has to be in the top every year because that's the way the history has been for the last 20 years before five years back. So that is where it belongs and that is what we are working for. But if we, if, if we had a shortcut to become champions, we would already be champions. But it takes time. Captain, when you talk about shining and you shine 24 hours, um, what parts of Manchester, what parts of this city make you shine? Uh, once I stepped in the city, the, the whole city was shining. So before that, I don't know how much it was shining, but I feel it shining now 24 hours. If, even if it gets dark by 3, 4 o'clock, but... I'm here, so I'm enjoying. I have a good time and uh, I'm training every day. I'm training hard. The city is what it is. I feel comfortable, I feel good, and depends what you want to do it. The way you live, and I'm simple. I am, I feel good, I'm happy. Thank you. Okay, Lassen, how, how do you think uh, Paul Pogba is doing? And we've seen flashes of his talent. How do you think he's doing? You've moved around a lot. Is it difficult when you move to a new country? Who? Paul Pogba. I think Paul is working hard. I mean, uh, he has a lot of pressure on him because he came for a big transfer sum and uh, people expect him to do magic in, in short time. Instead of being realistic that the team, we have a couple of four new players, five new coach. Situation is new. He came from Italy. He has been doing great things there. He was champion, I think, four times in a row. So that he is a good player, we know everybody. He just need to bring it out in, in in Manchester United. So, but he's working hard for it. I mean, you're good as your team. If the team is fantastic, it makes it easier for the individual. So his time will come. Okay. Hello, Zlatan. I'm from Portugal. I would like to do two questions, if possible. First of all your opinion about your Swedish partner, Viktor Lindelof, if it fits in Man United or in a great squad. And the second, questions, about, second question about your opinion of Jose Mourinho as a coach. I think Viktor is doing great things. He's playing good in Benfica. He gets a lot of responsibility in the national team now and he's growing. If he's good enough for United, I think he's ready for, for, for the big clubs out there. So it's up to him what he wants and what the situation says. So whatever he chooses, it will be good for him. I know he's, he's hot on the market, so let him choose, make the right choice only, what fits him good. And uh, for, for Jose, everybody knows Jose. He's a winner, he wants to win. And uh, he has a great history, great career, and, uh, and he's here now. So he wants to make the same thing with, with the situation here. So he's working hard, just like everybody else. Like I said, the right people is here. Now we just need to settle in and <clears throat> get the outcome. 
Okay, last two Thank questions, you. Stuart and the gentleman here. Zlatan, you've talked about, you know, you've, you've been at great clubs, you've talked about how happy, happy you are here, but is it a part of your wishes you'd come to Manchester United when you were younger, probably in the prime of your career? And did you ever have a chance to? I think, uh, I think I had a, like I said, I could come here one year before, but I chose to stay in PSG because I was happy and I wanted to finish it in a very good way because I had some great years there and uh, I think I don't regret that I didn't come before. I mean, the, everything is about the situation and the moment. I, th I didn't feel the moment was there, but I came when I'm 35. I will never turn down a challenge. Many players out there, they will sit on one place and wait for their mother to bake for them, to cook for them, where they feel good. I will not do that. I will travel alone and I will conquer wherever I go. And that's what I did. And that's what I, what I get triggered by, because that is the challenge I take and not sit in one place where everything is good and perfect. I could stay in Malmö and feel good and be happy, but no, I choose to travel around and do what I did. Okay, last okay. question. Okay, hello, Slatan. Um, are you surprised to see that um, Feyenoord are above your old team, Ajax? Uh, and do you have a similar feeling as John Guidetti had the other way? He, uh, he was a player for Feyenoord and then was so much against Ajax. And you know the rivalry in the country. Do you, do you know that feeling like he had against Feyenoord? <laughs> uh, it was a long time ago I was in Holland, but... When I was there, I know that Feyenoord didn't win nothing when I was in Ajax. That for sure. And, uh, and I'll make sure also tomorrow that we win our game, but the rival Ajax, Feyenoord, I think it's more in Holland. Here I don't feel it, but I feel uh, as an ex-player for Ajax, I am for Ajax, 100%. So I have no feelings to Feyenoord. My old feelings is for, for Ajax because I've been representing the club and and I had a great time there and I learned a lot of things. I went through many things. I played with many great players from Ajax. So at that moment, Ajax was the team, like it is today.